Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us both in person and online. Uh, today's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Mary Ann Sahagun. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah said to Ahab, Go up, eat and drink, for there is the sound of a heavy rain. So Ahab went up to eat and drink while Elijah climbed on top of Carmel, crouched down to the earth, and put his head between his knees. Climb up and look out to sea, he directed his servant, who went up and looked, but reported, there is nothing. Seven times he said, go, look again. The seventh time the youth reported, there is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising from the sea. Elijah said, go and say to Ahab, harness up and leave the mountain before the rain stops you. In a trice, the sky grew dark with clouds and wind, and a heavy rain fell. Ahab mounted his chariot and made for Jezreel. But the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, who girded up his clothing and ran before Ahab as far as the approaches to Jezreel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. It is, it is right, right to praise you in Zion, O God. You have visited the land and watered it. Greatly have you enriched it. God's water courses are filled. You have prepared the grain. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. Thus have you prepared the land, drenching its furrows, breaking up its clouds, clods, softening it with showers, blessing its yield. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. You have crowned the year with your bounty, and your paths overflow with a rich harvest. The untilled meadows overflow with it, and rejoicing clothes the hills. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar, go first 
and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to the court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Maybe the disciples heard this and thought to themselves, oh, well, that's pretty encouraging. Jesus always seems to be looking down on them. How high can the bar really be? But in truth, the scribes and the Pharisees were very, very serious about following the law as best that they could. Jesus condemned them for sure about imposing harsh burdens on others beyond what was necessary. But they were very serious. They took the Lord's word and the law very seriously. Jesus says to his disciples, you must do the same. And in fact, more than just what's in the law, which says you cannot kill, you shouldn't even be angry. You shouldn't use words that are harsh against others. These things, they will tear you down, they will bring you down, they will bring others down, and you'll be liable to judgment for these things. So repent, turn back, change. We need to change the way we look at the world. This week I've been reflecting a little bit on how as we draw close to God, we are changed. One of the ways Jesus calls us to change today is when we are confronted with someone behaving in a foolish way. Maybe we're driving down the road and they cut us off. Rather than offering a harsh word or grumbling in our hearts, which we're prone to do, I do it all the time. Instead of saying, you fool, offer a word of blessing. Say, God bless you that you need to be wherever you're going a little bit quicker than I do. Change our hearts that we might feel what the Lord feels towards others. When the Lord looked down on us from the cross, he didn't say, oh, you fools. What are you thinking? What are you doing? No, he said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. As we draw close to Jesus today, may we ask that he changes our hearts to be like his, which rather than saying, you fool, to our brothers and sisters, we might say, Father, forgive them. Father, help us love them, even when they behave in a foolish way. Amen. Please rise. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of faith and for the gift of life, and for this we pray. As the gospel reminds us today, to acknowledge that in our journey of life always we are called to forgive one another, and for this we pray. We pray for our brothers and sisters who have asked you for us to pray for them, especially when they encounter challenges in their journey of life. And for this, we pray. We pray for the success, especially when we continue to proclaim the good news, the good news of love and peace. And for this, we pray. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for the past 50 years. Your grace and spirit have enabled our parish to proclaim the word, celebrate the Eucharist, and save our local community. In thanksgiving, we pray for all those parishioners who set the parish foundation and for all those who throughout the years 
have joined us in our mission, in our celebrations, all have sought our help. Please continue to pour out your Holy Spirit upon us so that we will always be missionary disciples who are joyful expressions of your Son within our parish and into our community. We boldly proclaim that Jesus is alive in our parish, welcoming the lost and leading us all to new life in him. We ask thee through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit as one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will come our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord. We pray that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just, uh, due to our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent us, our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we are claimed. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the choice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the choice of salvation, giving thanks to that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Mary Ann Sahagan, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died on our mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God and God in him. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. On behalf of Deacon Christopher and William, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online also, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. Let us continue to recognize the presence of God as we always save one another. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thanks to be to God.